Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm your host, Charles Comer, and the book that we're going through today is The Magic of Thinking Big by David Swartz. The first presenter will be Honorable David Diaz. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Thank you very much. Here at the Mastermind Book Club, we focus on giving a brief review slash summary of the book of the week. Our goal is to attempt to read one book a week. And if we do that 52 times a year, we'll have read close to what a CEO reads every year. That is our goal. Not only that, to bring you closer to these books. Now, the magic of thinking big brings me one simple lesson. Stop thinking of the small stuff. What do you gain from thinking of the small stuff? Meaning, if you're going for a job interview, own it. If you're going out with your wife or your girlfriend or someone you want to impress, own it. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, David. Mm -hmm. uh, stop thinking of the small stuff. That's, that's awesome. Uh, next, we're going to have Martha, and then we're going to change up our schedule. I'm going to say, Tawana, will you be able to go after Martha? You can just nod your head. Okay, awesome. So okay. next, we'll have Martha. Okay, thank you, Char. Thank you, Char. And good evening, everyone. This um, amazing book is like a brain to success. The first thing is to think big. That's what we have to do. And then... Um, you think what you think you are, what you think you are. And you always have to go to the first class. Now, always think of the go first class all the time, wherever you go. Value, value and belief in yourself is important. Don't be as excited, don't make any excuses. And cure fears is important and work hard and work smart. If you don't like yourself, how you speak other people like you? Is uh, one question I always ask. And um, be grateful and, and greatness and happiness and, and a peace of mind is going to take you to the sky, to rise the sky. And awesome. Awesome, Martha. Awesome. For this. You are what you think you are. Go first class. I really like that. You are what you think you are. Go first class. Thank you so much, Martha. We got a lot out of that. You're very welcome. So, to, to one, yeah, unmute yourself, baby. Oh, there we go. I was about to start talking with the mute <laughs> button on. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's well. Um, okay, what I got out of the book, um, The Magic of Thinking Big, is when you keep it in the family, like the secrets of how you how you move in successfully and then you teach your children from young, then it can totally stay in the, um, in the generational wealth line with your family. And also that um, almost like, like piggybacking off of what Martha just said, as far as if you don't like yourself, then who's going to like you. So it's, 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 it's kind of like a, like a self-help kind of thing is what I got from it as far as like being able to see the better parts of yourself and, and being not afraid to take the steps to move towards the betterment of your, of your person. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And then I'm going to piggyback when it's my turn off of what you said, as far as the children, that's a great point, you know, and to, like you said, to, to really motivate yourself. Next we have Reggie Hilliard. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, good evening, everyone. Reggie from the Mastermind Book Club. What I'll touch on is thoughts. I mean, the book is about big, mostly about thoughts. Um, thoughts become things, right? And th thoughts can become all kinds of things. And thoughts take you exactly where you want to be, right? But the reality is that many of us, we're not on top of the thoughts that we have. So just as much as thoughts can become things, if you're not using or not applying the right thoughts or you have probably no thoughts, you'll end up with nothings. So no things, right? So the, the idea is to be in control as best you can of your thoughts because your thoughts are like vehicles, like cars, like spaceships, like whatever you might think of as a vehicle and they can take you to places wherever you choose to go. 
So you really want to be on top of the thoughts that you have. If you want to take off and take flight and be able to go places that you want to go, you know, through just the, uh, the uh, use of your thoughts and your imagination. Awesome, Rich. Thoughts will take you where you want to be. That's amazing. Thank you once again, Rich. That was phenomenal. Uh, just to follow up, uh, one, one thing I want to follow up is what Tawana says, that this book, I've had this book in my possession for about 45 years. My mother gave me her copy, an original copy from like, it had to be in the 40s because the book is like brown, it's, it's worn out. And I want to say just one quick thing about stop using the word can't. If you if you just start thinking positive thoughts and applying positive actions and getting rid of the word can and applying action, that will change your life. So this has uh, been the Mastermind Book Club with part one of The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schultz. Uh, tune in next week when we go over another part of this great and wonderful book. And we'll see you then. Have a good night. Yeah.